under attack in the political arena, let me assure you that you do not have to worry. Medicare is in no way going to be uh, eliminated or cut back considerably uh, because it's just not going to happen. And folks like me are not going to let it happen. And we have the votes. Medicare has been too important to the quality of life in this country. And when you compare senior citizens' quality of life now compared to before we had Medicare in 1965, there is a huge difference. And all of these professionals can tell you that, that live with us every day, that the quality of life, the health, the longevity of life uh, for older Americans is considerably better. Now, unfortunately, and I don't understand why, unfortunately, there are people in the political system, and I'm not making this political, I'm just, I'm telling you the facts. There are people that want to cut back on Medicare considerably. There are some people who want to take Medicare and turn it over to private insurance companies. Then there are others who say, well, uh, we want to uh, maybe give a choice of Medicare fee-for-service or a private insurance company other than what we have now, which is called Medicare Advantage. And the huge difference in those proposals is that they want to turn it over to private insurance companies with no quality controls that we have under the existing Medicare Advantage program. Medicare Advantage is Medicare delivered through a health plan that is administered by an insurance company, an HMO. But the big difference of doing that and just turning Medicare over to an HMO is there are requirements and the payments are are controlled that go to the insurance company and the payments are particularly controlled so that the better quality rating of the medical service for the senior citizen, if it's a higher quality rating, then the insurance company gets an additional financial incentive. And so it becomes a win-win. 